Elma, thank you so much. And standing right next to me is the host of tonight's award show, Basket Mouth. It feels so good to be standing right next to you here. Thank you very much, thank you. You're looking absolutely stylish. Do I look that good? Absolutely <laughs> stylish, fantastic. Why the choice of blue tonight? I didn't choose it. Uh, the wardrobe guy chose it. So, yeah, so the wardrobe guy was the one that came to me and was like, this is what you need to wear. I'm like, okay, fine, no problem, I'll wear it. <laughs> wow, you look absolutely fantastic. All right, so what should we be expecting from you as a host, most especially tonight? Because it's the MVPs. Um, first of all, um, I'm following the script. So when I looked at the script, I was like, guys, I can't do this. This is not me. So they allowed me to tweak a little bit. So there's going to be a little bit of madness here and there. So the madness is still going to be there, but you know, not too much. Okay, so you know, any thoughts on you know Sansi MVPs, especially most especially this you know this maiden edition that we've put together? Okay, first of all, this is the first time I'm having this. Yes, this is this is interesting for the first time. I can hear everything happening right now, backstage. Yes, so the packaging is 100%. The timing, the stage is beautiful, and no, the package is just wonderful. This is like international standard. Yeah, and I like the fact that I feel like an FBI agent right now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 0219, yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> thank you so much, Basquiat. I can't wait to see what you have in store for everyone tonight. All right, thank you so much. It's still the Sounds to MVPs, and I do know that VJ Adams is, in fact, on standby. He's about to give you a very interesting and informative interview, so keep it locked here on Sounds to TV. It's still the MVPs. Stick around. Welcome back. Welcome back to Live from the Red Carpet at the Sound City MVP Awards 2016. Joining us is nominee for tonight, Coca is also going to be headlining the show performing. Um, it's a big year for you. What has changed since Cole Work became very popular? Man, I would say, um, first of all, I'm thankful. Uh, I would say, like, the reception was amazing. And basically, nothing really changed except for the obvious, you know, bookies and all that. But, you know, just, I feel like Cole Work is a reason for me to work harder. I feel like Cole Work is a reason for me to do more, drop more singles. I just didn't drop a new single, try to give them with the video, doing well. Doing um, pretty well, too. Yeah, yeah, going on with DJ Shabzi. So, yeah, putting out more work. 27 is going to be a big year. Yeah. 2017 is going to be a big year. In terms of the music, where do you think the sound is going to? The Al-Qaeda bit did a lot of work this year. Man, <laughs> it's really for cool work. I, I can, I, me for one can say that. But I would say, you know, um, the way the music is going right now, we define the sound, you know. We, we determine what is going to trend, you know. Like, right now we have different songs from different genres, from different trending right now. So it's not one sided anymore. So I, I believe right now your creativity is not boxed and you are allowed to express your creativity. So yeah, I really can't say a particular sound for sure, but I know good music definitely will prevail next time. That's right. If you were to make a collaborative project, collaborative album or say an EP with anyone, who had you pick to work with? Man, I'm a huge fan of Wanda Cole. Wanda Cole anytime, any day, Two-Face. Um, my sound weird, but beautiful Nubia. I love his music so much. Uh, well, Lagbaja. Oh my God, I'm a big fan of Lagbaja. What's your favorite Lagbaja song? Onike Lee, Scan Taylor. As I know I'm here, but you already know. <laughs> That's the jam right there, man. Lagbaja, respect, man. I want to know, what other names did you try out before settling for Coca? <laughs> you know what's a good on here? <laughs> anyway, I tried O Trice, because I had O appear three times in my name. Olai Wola, Ola Banji, Ola Tin. You're like, oh. I started with something, let's, let's, let's make it old choice. I'm like, old choice, yeah, that was cool. But that was my first name ever. Then, of course, we changed it to old choice Coca and then Coca. Yeah. Coca worked finally. Let's talk about performing tonight and, of course, your nomination. If you don't win your category, who do you think just might win? To be honest, like I always say, we're all winners. You know, for me to be nominated, I feel privileged, I feel honored. You know, I'm not the only person that, you know, that deserves this nomination. For us to be nominated, we're all winners. Um, I will say, if I don't win it, then the winner wins. You know what I'm saying? If I don't win it, the winner wins. If I don't win it, the winner wins. <laughs> so if you don't win it, the winner wins. Coca, we wish you good luck tonight. Have a great show performing tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Coca nominee tonight plus performer. Have a great evening. Moe is on standby with a guest. Moe, who do you have right there? All right, thank you so much, BJ Adams. I am standing next to Elvis all the way from Etisalat, Nigeria. It's really good to have you here with us, yes, sir. Thank you. All right, now why this choice of outfit? Because I'm obviously the fashion expert on the red carpet tonight. Okay, um, I was just looking for something that will make me a lot more comfortable and free this evening, and I decided to just wear this. Okay, so we have a fantastic lineup. Who are you looking forward to performing tonight? 
Um, I know we have a lot of great artists um, lined up tonight, and I look forward to the perform or performances of every one of them, and I think it's going to be a great night. So there's nobody in particular. I'm just open to the best artists that will perform tonight. Well, thank you so much, Elvis. Thank you very much. And guys, don't forget to join on the conversation. Hashtag Soundsy MVP 2016 on all forms of social media. The red carpet is absolutely lit. Don't even think of touching that dial. Now straight to you, VJ Adams. Welcome back. Welcome back to live from the Red Carpet Sound City MVP Awards 2016 nominee and of course performer tonight, Ricardo Banks, is joining us right now. The Spotlight album was absolutely phenomenal. But where do we go from here? More videos from the album, new single, because the new year is around the corner. Yeah, yeah, more videos, like two, three more videos from the album, then we move on to the next, you know. Yeah. Like, Are you nervous though? Just, about the awards? Yes. Not really, no. Can't be bothered. You can't, can't be bothered. No, you can't be bothered. Come on, I, I really. This this one will come. Next season will come again. So how would you be bothered about just one year? Yeah. Rocking tonight. What are you wearing? I don't know. Angel put this together for me. Nice. More tattoos? Are you gonna get more? Uh probably not. Maybe on my leg. Get tattoo. What are you gonna write? There's something on my mind. I've not solidified yet. When I do. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Before I let you run, quickly, I want to know, if you were to make a collaborative project, make a collaborative project, who would you work with? Producer or art artist? Man, there's too many great talents, man. I like, I like Fowls, I like uh, Techno, I like Kiss Daddy. So, one of three of them. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Ricardo Banks, good to see you, brother. All right, plenty more action live here on the red carpet. And of course, uh, the show is going to be on in a short while. The hashtag is Sound City MVP 2016. We're going to go on a quick commercial break. And when we return, more action live from Sound City.